It is Snake Bliskin, the man who whispered his terrible depth perception right into our hearts. It's not even, it's not even close. I mean, I... let me get that for you. The only writing credit in Kurt Russell's entire career. He surfs, he plays basketball, and he helps destroy humanity. It is a wild ride, and it's all here because this is Red Eye Reviews. We start learning that the country is in chaos. This Kenneth Copeland-looking man tells us that sinners are gonna get wrecked by an earthquake. Then, the camera starts a shaking violently, and pieces of computer graphics start falling from the sky. Could this be the trailer for a Wreck-It Ralph 3? No, sadly not. It is the end of days. The Santa Monica Pier gets power washed, which, if you ask me, I say good. Because that place could use a deep cleaning, it smells kind of weird. But then the TV preacher that your grandmother gave her retirement checks to is made president. And L.A. is turned into an island prison for undesirables, which kind of already is that, but now it's just literal. War hero, criminal, the force's most wanted man. We see Snake Pliskin, his jacket in need of some serious leather rehydration. You had it all, and you turned away from your country. What do you have to say, Pliskin? Call me Snake. Some girl walks by and scratches our man, and he's like, oh, great. Here we go again. You know, I got to admit, I thought we had you in Cleveland. Get to the deal. I get it. Escape pod fell in the city. Something important's in it. You need me to go get it, right? And they're like, uh, yeah. And let me guess. This president's daughter is some I am the main character TikTok influencer who dances on airplanes and you just really want to punch her right in the face. Is that about right? Uh, yeah. No, that's about right. We're holograms, Pliskin. There's a virus inside of me. Countdown clock to my death. Certainty of death? Small chance of success? What are we waiting for? So we get a dope-ass suit em up scene, and off we go. Thought you might try that hot shot. That's why the first clip is loaded with blanks. Our man climbs into a submarine, and it's like the ending of Black Panther. The CGI just really helps us dive into the action. We land. Oh, 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 so real. Oh, God, so dangerous. He heads down an alley that I am sure has some very interesting smells. He decides it's not nearly smelly enough. No, he heads to some trash heap camp. And we find the TikTok influencers. No matter where you come from, no matter what color your skin is, come on, break, break. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, can't wait for their new vlog episode where they talk about nothing for an hour. We get in an epic motorcycle race. Motorcycles, then one horse. There's, there's, uh, there's a guy on a horse. It's the horse. He's there. But our man gets taken down. He loses his mark. What do you say we play a little Bangkok rules? Nobody draws until this hits the ground. We meet the coolest, weirdest man ever. Don't shoot. It's Steve. I could have played Smeagol without the use of CGI. Boo shimmy. He points us in the right direction. And that right direction is directly towards some weird ass cult members. It's a cult of failed LA facelifts. And I wish I wrote that as a joke, but I kid you not, that is who they are. Surgical failures. Too many implants and facelifts over the years. And I just kind of love it. I kind of love this idea. I like that these people exist. They make me happy. 
but Snake Mouth blow darts some knockout juice into our man. Anybody moves, I blow his brains out and then yours. We can see Frank's landlord has joined the group. All right, will somebody say something? These crackers need more salt. I agree. It's still probably after his rent money. But the two of them escape, and then she's like, hey, let's bang. My boyfriend and I broke up tonight. I'd love to take care of you. And he's like, babe, I'm going to die in five hours. So after we bang, you'll have four hours and 58 minutes to get me that antidote. However, before she can become a larger role in this movie, she gets shot. Really not so bad. And there's zero follow up at all. Uh, She's out. She's out. But now that our one hot chick is gone, we need to replace her with an equally hot piece of action. Come on. Oh, you little piece of man meat. However, our new side piece quickly betrays us. Hey, not to worry, Snake. You've just been shot with a fun gun. And he takes us right to the influencer's lair where we learn that the secret device is a series of satellites that can launch EMP blasts at whatever they want. And then we get my favorite part of the movie, because they strap Captain Ron to a treadmill and they force him to walk on it. That brings all the satellites online, then you can name the prototype. And our man just does it. (laughs) He just does. At no point does he think to just stand on the sides of the treadmill and, you know, just kind of watch the TV. Hey, I get it. You got to get your steps in for the day. And I, sir, respect that. It's targeting Lynchburg. That'll shut down the Capitol. Patch me in a little Good night, Loomis. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy this just a little bit. So they take him to a sports arena, which I'll call the uh, Oakland Raiders Stadium. Because I'm sure that that is wrong, and I'm also sure that one of you will tell me the right answer in a comment. But Snake is faced with his biggest challenge to date. Basketball! Two hoops! Full court! He's got to make a series of basketball shots. However, instead of winning a 1986 Toyota Corolla, he will win his life. And little do they know, our man can hoop! I mean, he might not have the skills of the professor, but he would give Ray Allen a run for his money. It's just that easy, folks. And during the preceding chaos, Snake attacks the baddie. He steals the device, and he runs away. That TikToker follows him, and she's like, Ah, I thought if I filmed myself hanging out with homeless people that it would grow my following, but everybody keeps claiming it's all staged and now I smell bad. Sadly, before she can gain any more followers, Bushimi interrupts. Our man washes up into his audition for the next Point Break movie. Tsunami snake, tsunami and I guess all those earthquakes triggered a tsunami. Yeah, this is gonna be some kind of ride, man. Some kind of fix ride. Just... Oh, surf's up, dude. But he was so smart. He thought it through. He made his stunt double do the actual surfing. He's fine. You gotta be kidding. That stunt double surfs right up into Steve's flat little boo shimmy. If you're gonna tell me how to get downtown, somebody named Hershey. So they go. They meet a lady named Hershey. She and her gang agree to help him get the box back in exchange for a cut of the profit. What's the deal? You need a Quervo Jones. I got one hour. But they head to totally not Disneyland because legally it cannot be, but it's uh, it's definitely Disneyland. But they go. They go by means of hang gliders. Because... This movie has it all. Bravo! I made it! I made it! Wait for me! So, Boo Shimmy lands first. He literally pulls the oldest trick in the book. Go! Look out behind you! 
and it works flawlessly. He swaps out the real EMP satellite nav disc with a fake one. Then, Bliskin arrives and he blisses all over their plans. I'm not sure these people understand how hang gliders work, but uh, I'm having too much fun to care. So our man lands, he fights the main bad guy, he steals the man's device. They all steal this man's totally real chopper, and then they very slowly and artificially float away. But Bushimi decides that he wants to live in La La Land longer, he jumps out. And sadly, all the occupants in the back burn up. But the girl jumps out. Bliskin shows up just in time to give them the device and get his antidote. You took the fake, huh, Chad? Butoxin 7 is a fast, hard-hitting case of the flu. Your countdown clock has now terminated function. And as it turns out, there was not a deadly virus in our man. No, it was the flu shot and the COVID shot at once, and it really fucked his weekend up. So he's like, hey, come get this device. But then they find the girl, and they're like, hold up. No, I think she has the device. And she does. They take it. They hook her up to an electric chair. I don't know why. It's the ultimate social media cry for attention. It's kind of extreme, if you ask me, but say lovey. Bring the aiming coordinates for Cuba and Mexico. Welcome to your very own Map to the Stars. Then, the president learns that he made the the old swap swap. It was a fake. It was a fake of a fake. Everything's fake. It's a lie. The the disc, fake. The earthquake's fake. The uh, effects, fake. That, That guy's hair, definitely fake. They go to poke Snake? He's not even here. He's a hologram. He's f***ing fake. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. But he knows the only real way to stop all this social media crap is to just use the EMP tool and shut down the entire Earth. For God's sakes, don't do it, Snake. My name's Pliskin. <laughs> That'll do it. Yeah, somewhere Pinky and the Brain are losing their damn little minds. And now that the world is shut off, he can finally go back to walking around and whispering sweet nothings. And that is it. So, let's head on over to Red Eye Reacts. SD Bob Pliskin, youngest man ever decorated by the president. That's right. Decorated me like a Christmas tree. Fun little fact here. Meet. Wyatt Russell. That's Kurt Russell's kid. Hey, bud, did you know your dad grows up to be a dope gunman and also Santa Claus? It's a crazy world. We sent in a five-man rescue team, and all but one of them was killed. I love a team. And so he used her to steal the black box. Sad story. You gotta smoke. Only on a need to know. Evidently, I don't need to know, so fuck you. I'm going to Hollywood. Yes or no? Who are you? I'm your president. Well, I didn't vote for you! Hold up. Like, for sunset? Really? All right. You make one move and we're done. If you want to make noise, go and find another bush. You can't run away now. I've got to go to my quarters. I've got to pray! Oh, I gotta get to my quarters. <laughs> gotta pray, gotta tell those old people watching me to give me more money. Last couple of years, it's like you're falling off the face of the earth. I didn't do it! I didn't do it! I didn't do it! I swear! What? What? Where am I? That is it. Thank you so much. A huge shout out to the patrons because they picked today's movie. So. If you liked it, give them a shout out too. I appreciate each and every one of them. And if you want to do what they do, I have a link in the description where you can sign up and do just that. I have my Discord community. They're a great bunch of people. That link is down below as well. And my merch store is down below. 
I will see you next time. And until then, stay happy and stay healthy.